G'day Internet, my name is Andrew Russell and I am the lead programmer on River City Ransom Underground and I'm here in this video today to just uh, give you a little demonstration of the way that strength affects um, the response of victims, you know, the, the people that you're hitting in the game. Um, so what I'm going to show you here, this is, and I've turned on all the debug views, so we've got, we're going to see damage numbers and we've got um, you know, we've got the frame number down here and we've got like what state the attacker and the, uh, the receiver uh, is in as far as the game is concerned. And this is one of Paul's longest combos. So let's read it out. It's a left jab, right cross, left body blow, left uppercut, right uppercut, left side cutter, right straight. And I'm just going to play that at full speed now. And you can see that he gets, you know, kicked across the map. And so this is Paul with uh, the lowest strength possible. Like you can't, in fact, it's lower than you, what you get in game. He's got um, <clears throat> strength zero here, I believe. Because uh, this is just a little testing environment where we set up test scenarios. So we can, so we can do tests like this and uh, demonstrate these features. So I'll just step through this one real slow. So we've got a left jab, that connects and does two damage. And you know another left jab connects and then we've got a right cross, that one connects. And you can see that both Paul and the victim are getting shifted along uh, sort of to move the fight down the screen and make sure that Paul stays on top of this um, on top of this character. So <clears throat> Paul comes in continuing on with a, a left body blow that connects a left uppercut. So you can see so far these have been causing the standing hurt victim response and then this next one causes the uh, um, uppercut uh, sorry. That one caused standing hurt. Right uppercut was connected and it causes the uppercutted response. Um, and you'll see the left side cutter causes another uppercutted victim response. And then the left straight is going to do the blown back um, victim response, which is going to cause him to fly across the screen. And you can see that Paul has moved all the way from zero here to like 100 and, well, no, not 100, um, like, I don't know, about 70 or so. So he's moved 70 pixels down the screen in the course of this combo. But you'll notice that he hit every hit because uh, his victim over here, um, you know, got, got moved along as well down the, make sure that matches the camera, like down across the screen. Um, so, and then, you know, that's the end of the combo. And so I'll play that again at full speed you can see that um, you know he gets hit. So what happens if I then run the same combo, but with Paul with high strength? So this is Paul with like maximum strength. <clears throat> and I'm gonna run this again. You'll see that he doesn't get to the end of the combo. And I, you'll have to excuse the fact I've got tutorials on in this, um, this one. He doesn't get to the end of the combo. Let's walk through that in um, slow-mo. So we've got the left jab and then another left jab as before. And you can see that because he's got more strength, he's doing a whole lot more damage here. And so the right cross comes next, and he does a standing hurt animation. <clears throat> and he's already been um, given enough damage to, um, you can see he's flipped over to his next health bar. So you've actually done, at that point, um, because these guys have only got one health, because that's how I set it up, um, or zero health, anyway. Uh, he's been knocked down, because when he finished his response animation, he's like, ah, oh, okay, I can go into the winded state. Um, and then what happens when he's in the winded state, Paul's gonna keep going in his combo because he's hit every hit so far. So he can continue his combo and he does a left uppercut. Now, because he was in the winded state, instead of doing the uppercutted victim response, he does the standard knockdown response. And so, and then Paul, that, Paul made that hit, so he can get to do the next step in the combo. So that's right up at it. And this flying body that's being um, knocked down also gets hit by this part of the combo. And you can see now that he's up in the air. And so Paul's going to come in with this left side cutter, which previously did you know the upper cutter response, but uh, the victim over here is way up in the air because he's being knocked down because he's reached the end of his health bar. Um, so this next part of the combo, this part misses because this guy's already getting knocked down. And so the result is that, you know, Paul doesn't get to continue his combo. Um, he misses the next step. And obviously the victim is now being knocked down and he's moved on to his next part of the self bar. So basically this is the explanation for 
why if you have high strength you might not be reaching the end of your combos um, and that is because you've already done enough damage to knock them down and they get and the combo just happens to be the right length they get into this um, winded state which is like the, your your opportunity to do that knockdown um, so you'll see this is actually a player um, obviously in this testing scenario but the sim similar mechanic works for the uh, AI in the game the um, you know the, the player versus environment enemies um, so anyway yes so basically you're doing enough damage to knock them down that's um, you'll notice that certainly if I pause at about the same spot we're getting up to the left side let's switch back to the um, uh, the same combo here and get up to the left side cutter you know if I try and pause it at the right spot We've got the right uppercut and then the left side cutter you can see that you know the amount of um, motion the amount of uh, in combat knockback that occurs gets them to exactly the same spot so that's the only thing um, that's aside from the animations themselves that's the only sort of shifting that goes on in the game is uh, this amount and it's a fixed amount it's not based on um, not based on strength so yeah the only reason he actually gets to the end of this combo is that he's actually not done enough damage in fact to um, move him onto his next health bar so anyway he must have more than zero health I don't know how much health he actually has in this scenario um, but he's taken this much damage but still hasn't moved on to that next health bar as you can see so hopefully that explains for you what's going on and I mean um, you know feel free to uh, I guess leave comments about how you'd prefer it to work or something because I know people are like we don't like how this works um, but unfortunately this is kind of like just a, a, a consequence of the way our animation system works um, and the kind of animations we have available to um, do these responses and, and the way our combo system works and so on and so forth so um, <clears throat> yeah uh, hopefully hopefully that at least gives you more information so keep discussing it in the forums um, you know we're, we're going to keep listening and uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching